next on the Gospel Bill Show. I can't believe that that mangy dog is in there asleep. Now, wait a minute now. Don't lose your temper now, Nicodemus. Barkamaeus! Barkamaeus! Uh, you're asleep! Uh. It's the Gospel Bill Show, featuring Gospel Bill, Nicodemus, Barkamaeus, Miss Lana, T.U. Tutwater, and the entire Dry Gulch Gang. Gospel Bill, Go Gospel Bill, Go Gospel Bill, Gospel Bill. Hey, over here, Nicodemus. Here. Go, oh, Gospel Bill. Gospel Bill. Hi, good to see you. Good to see you. Oh, Gospel Bill, I'm madder than a hornet. Have What's you that? seen Barkamaeus anywhere? No, I hadn't seen him. Why? Ooh, I'm telling you, he's supposed to help me clean out the livery stable this morning. I've been looking all over town for him, and I can't find him. Well, that doesn't sound like Barkamaeus. I mean, usually he's pretty responsible. <sighs> Have you been to his house? Six times I've been to his house. I can't find him nowhere. Well, I mean, well, I got that job for us. We was gonna make a little extra money. Now I can't find Barkamas anywhere to help me. I can't do it all by myself. I gotta have his help. What am I gonna do, Gospel Bill? Well, I don't know. That doesn't sound like Barkamas. He wouldn't do anything like that. Listen, I'll help you find him. I got a few minutes here. I can help you look for him. Come on, let's go around. We'll round him well, up. Well, he gave me his word, and, and you know he's supposed to keep his word, ain't he? And yeah, he's down there, and he wasn't anywhere around. And I was waiting for him. Could that Barkamas be? I don't know, but he's got to be around here somewhere. Oh, Gospel Bill, if I don't find him, I, I done went and promised Mr. Gilbert we'd get that livery stable cleaned out. What are we going to do? Give him a word. Speaking of Mr. Gilbert, here he comes right now. Oh, there you are, Mr. Nicodemus. Hi, Mr. Gilbert. When Did... do you think you're going to clean up my livery stable? Well, I meant to talk huh? to you about... See, I, I, I've been... I don't about... want to hear any of this from you. When are you and your lazy friend going to clean it up? Well, Barkamay, see, I'm looking... There is no excuse. If you don't have it cleaned up by tomorrow, you're fired. The Gospel Bill Show will be back right after these messages. Visit the elephant. Elephants are the largest land creatures in the whole world. They have big, strong legs that look like the trunks of trees. And the elephant's nose is so long that it can touch the ground even when he's standing. And his ears are huge. They look like giant leaves waving in the breeze. Mr. Elephant is quite a large fellow. Now, many elephants, like our friends here, must work hard every day. They haul logs and pull heavy loads. They have an incredible appetite after a hard day's work in the jungle. These elephants must have plenty of food to stay healthy and strong. They can eat more food in one meal than your whole family eats in a week. Wow! Do you suppose that God made these animals too large? I mean, they are pretty big and fat. You be careful, don't knock down the wall. Well, in many places in the world, there's not enough food to eat. Many people and animals go hungry, and it takes a great deal of food and water to take care of Elmer the elephant. But you know that God made Elmer just the right size? He knew what he was doing when he made these elephants, because nothing is too big for God. And if God can feed these elephants, then he can take good care of you. This elephant never worries that he'll run out of food. He doesn't worry about anything at all, so don't get wrinkled up. God will watch over you because you're special. You know, there's only one type of person in all the world who can talk to God, and that is a human being. I mean, you're special to the Lord because no one else can have fellowship with him like you can, so don't worry about anything. Trust in him. Howdy there, Miss Lana. Hi, Gospel Bill. Hi, Hi Miss Lana. Nicodemus. Hey, listen. Have you seen that bark of ass anywhere this morning? No, I haven't seen, but I've sure heard some funny noises for about two hours. Listen. Let's go find bark. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Listen. What? Sounds just like Barkamas. Snoring. That is Barkamas. I know that snore. He's he over in the boot shop next door. Uh, I'm gonna. If I get my hands on him. Ah. 
I won't. I'll see you in a little bit, Miss Lana. I can't believe that that mangy dog is in there asleep. Now, wait a minute now. Don't lose your temper now, Nicodemus. Barkamaeus! Barkamaeus! Uh, you're asleep! Uh, come on, Barkamaeus, wake up! Mangy dog, move it! Move it! We've got to settle down, Barkamaeus. settle down, Barkamaeus. Move it, move it, move it. Going to put some flowers on my mother's grave. Boy, I sure don't like these cemeteries. Especially this one. This one gives me the creeps. Boy, it really does. It's because of this maniac who lives here. See, there's a maniac who lives out here in the graveyard. And he's always going around scaring people. I mean, he's crazy. He's really crazy. He howls at night like a, like a wolf or something. A and he's always making strange noises. He lives up there in a cave somewhere. And he cuts himself with stones. He's the craziest guy you'd ever want to see. One time, all the townspeople got together, and we decided to chain him up. We chained him up so he wouldn't bother anyone. But that guy is so crazy that he, he picked the chains apart, and now he runs free again. And nobody's got enough courage to do anything about it. Well, I sure hope I don't see him. I mean, that guy is crazy. He's really crazy. I don't know why he makes him act that bad, but I mean, he's nuts. Ah! 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 Oh, the maniac! The maniac! Ah! Oh! Oh! oh. Ah! Ah! Me no like being crazy. Me hate being crazy. But there's nothing I can do. Do you think I like being this way? No! It's miserable being crazy. I hate this. It's the devil who lives in me who makes me this way. Oh, and I hate him. I'd do anything to be free from this. Oh, help me. Oh, if there is a God, please help me be free from this. I'm tired of this. Ah! Okay, Barkamaz, now here's what we're going to do. I I'll, get, I'll get up in that loft, see, and you pitch these bales up to me, all right? Yeah, all right. Okay, Them you bales. got it? Those bales right there. I'm there. Yeah, I'll be up there. Okay, you all got right. it? Yeah. All right. Yeah, this will work great for a pillow. Okay, Bark a mess, I'm uh, ready. Uh, pitch him on up here, Bark. Uh, Come on, uh, yeah, pitch him on up here. Bark a mess. Bark a mess. Bark a mess. Barkamas, I'm ready. Yeah. I'm, I'm ready up here. What are you? Uh, uh, asleep again? Uh, I'm gonna have Gospel Bill arrest you. I don't know, Miss Lana. I just don't think I'd look good in a shirt made out of this stuff. Oh, Gospel Bill. Gospel Bill, Gospel Bill, come with me right now. I want you to rest, Barkamas. What, 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 what for? For being lazy, that's what Ford. Now wait a minute, it's not against the law to be lazy. Now you're, I'll talk you're going to resting for something. Come on, Gospel Bill. Now, come on. All right, come on, Gospel Bill. There he is, right there. Look at him, laziest dog. Uh, do you do? Do you do? You're resting right now. Arresting. Now listen, it's not against the law to sleep. I can't arrest this dog. You but can't. I, no, but I'll talk to him. Barkamas. Barkamas. Barkamas! Barkamas, wake up, wake up, wake up! Wake up here! Do you know what you're doing? You're gonna cause you and Nicodemus to lose your job. Yeah. You can't sleep while you're supposed to be working. Yeah. That's no way to do a job, Barkamas. No. And it's sure no way to treat a friend. Yeah. Now listen, you better sit up here and get to work. Now, don't leave Nicodemus up there in that loft all by himself and you down here sleeping. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. All right, you gonna get up and yeah. do your job? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All yeah. right, now all I can't right. arrest you, but boy, I'll tell you what, if it was against the law for being lazy, I guess I would be able to. You better get up from there and get to work. Yeah. I'll see y'all later. Yeah. All right, oh, all right. Okay, okay, Barkman, you ready now? Yeah. Uh, all right, I'm gonna get up here in the loft again. You throw me the bales, okay? All right, all right, okay. all right. Oh, man. I'm so sleepy. I didn't sleep a bit last night. Oh, do I feel terrible. I mean terrible. Terrible? You're going to feel even worse after I get through with you. What do you want? You get out of bed right now. You get in here in the living room and help me clean up. You're supposed to help do this job too, you know. But Jeannie, listen, I can't get up. I'm so sleepy I'm about to pass out. Just get out of here and leave me alone. Sleepy? You're not 
not sleepy? Oh, yes, I am. I'm real sleepy. You're just lazy. No, I'm not, Jeannie. I'm sleepy. Honest, I didn't sleep a bit last night. Well, why didn't you go to sleep? Because I was scared. Scared? That's right, scared. I was so scared I couldn't sleep. Did you stay up and watch that scary movie? Well, uh... Did you? Well, uh... Well, uh... But it was good, Jeannie. Good? If it was so good, why are you so scared? Well, um... Well, it was good and scary, that's what it was. But, 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 but... Now, listen here. If you want to be able to go to sleep at night, you can't be thinking about scary things. You gotta learn to think about good things. That's why you couldn't sleep. You watched that movie and it made you scared. Well, uh, well, Jeannie, I know. And after I watched it, I wished I wouldn't have because it made me so scared. The next time I won't do it. Oh, man. But right now I'm so sleepy I can't get up. You get up. You gotta finish your job. And from now on, if you want to be free from nightmares, watch what you think about and don't watch those scary movies. Barker Mass, how come you ain't throwing them bales up here? Barker Mass, I'm uh, asleep again. Barker Mass. Just uh, as I thought. The job's not done. Uh, Both of you lazy bums are uh, fired. Fa, 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 fa. The uh, word is fired. Uh, 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 fired. <laughs> Okay, Gospel Bill, I bring him with me, and you got to talk to him right now. Who are you talking about? Mark Amaz, that's who. I get... Where is he? he? Wait right here. Mark Amaz, where did you... Oh, oh Mark Amaz. Mark Amaz. What's going on? He's asleep again. Can you believe this? Get over here. He's, He's been sleeping dog. all day. It's the laziest dog I ever seen. What? T tell him, tell him what happened. Just tell him right now. He don't even know. He got us fired, Dr. Bill. Fired, F-I-R-D, fired. He got us fired today. We lost our job. You Wait a minute. What, are you serious? You got fired from working at the livery stable? Yeah, we got fired. We lost our job because of him. Him. What happened? Well, I was over there. I was scooping the hay, doing all the work, and, and the guy come along and got, and, and Barker Mace is over there asleep on a hay bale, and he says, that's it. You're fired. Get out, clear out, and that's it. And we lost our job. You lost your... He doesn't seem too shaken up about this. Hey, Barker Mass. He's asleep again. Barker Mass. Mass. Wake up. Barker Mass. Wake up. Hey. Wake up. What, 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 what? Do you know what you just did? You what? are the laziest mud I ever seen in my oh, 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 Wait a minute, wait a minute. There must be an explanation. Do you know what just happened? You got yourself fired. Fired. Oh, oh fired? Yeah, fired. Oh, oh. You got fired from your job for sleeping on the job. And you got Nicodemus oh. fired too, yeah, Barker Mass. Too. Oh, no. Now listen. Why are you sleeping all day? Can't you go to sleep at night? No, uh -oh, sure can't. Well, what's wrong? Because well, I'm afraid, Gosh, Bill. I'm afraid I can't sleep wet all any night. None. You can't sleep at all at night? Well, why, Barker Miss? Okay, it all happened a couple of months ago when I went back to that carnival. I went and saw this fortune teller, and she had one of them big old crystal balls, and she started telling me all these bad things that are going to happen to me, and ever since then, I can't sleep at night because I'm afraid all the bad things are going to happen to me! <laughs> I hope that maniac doesn't show up again. Oh, wow, that guy gives me the creeps. Why does he have to hang around out here at the graveyard? Just why, tell me. I've got to get these flowers on my mother's grave. And that crazy man is always jumping out from behind some tree trying to scare people. That man must be just full of the devil, full of the devil. That's the only explanation I know of. He must just be full of the devil. Oh, oh, excuse me. For a minute, I thought you were that maniac. I am. What? You what? I am. No, wait a minute. You're not the maniac. The maniac goes around cutting himself with stones. He has a wild look in his eyes, and he's always jumping out to scare people. That's the way I used to be. The way you used to be? You're not the maniac, are you? I used to be the maniac, but not anymore. I'm not crazy at all. You're not crazy at all. Well, what happened to you? I'll tell you what happened. The other day, I was running around here cutting myself with stones and howling and weeping, and all of a sudden, someone strange came. Uh, he came uh, uh, from the sea over there. Well, who was it, pray tell? It was Jesus, the Son of God. And I ran to him, and I called out to him for help, and Jesus made the devil leave me alone. 
you, you, mean, you mean you mean you're in your right mind? I mean you're not you're not crazy anymore? That's right. Jesus made the devil leave me, and I'm now okay. Everything's all right. I'm in my right mind. Isn't it wonderful what Jesus did for me? That's a miracle. Uh, wait till I tell the people in town. There's no maniac in the graveyard anymore. This is wonderful, wonderful. I just can't help it. I can't help it, Gossip. I'm afraid. I can't do nothing about it. Now, listen here. You can, too, help it. You can keep yourself from being afraid. How? Now, number one, you stay away from fortune tellers. All right. God doesn't use fortune tellers to speak to his people, and you know better now. We've talked about that before. Number two, you've got to watch what you think about. Now, if you're thinking about all those bad things that fortune teller said would happen to you, it's no wonder you get afraid. you got to watch what you think about. Control your thoughts. That's the way you have God's peace. Now, I'm going to write a scripture down for you. Oh. And I want you to take this home, and I want you to, to look it up in your Bible. It's found in Isaiah chapter 26. Uh -huh. And it says that if you keep your mind and your thoughts on God, you'll have perfect peace. Uh -huh. All right? Isaiah 26.3. Isaiah 26.3. Now, you remember that. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. All right? Hey, come on. I'll help you look that up, Bart. Uh -huh. All right. All right. I ain't got nothing else to do. I lost my job. All right. I'm going to look at that, and I'm going to think on this scripture, and I'm going to have perfect peace. That's yeah. right. And you read it right before you go to bed now. Oh, yeah. I'll do that. All right. See you guys later. I'll Bye -bye. see you later. I'm not going to be afraid. I'm not going to be afraid. I'm going to have perfect peace, perfect peace. Let's see, it says right here in Isaiah 26, 3, if I keep my mind on the Lord, I will have perfect peace. That's what I'm going to do. Keep my mind on you, and I'll have perfect peace. Well, thank you, Jesus. I have perfect peace. Oh, good night, Jesus. Good night. Good night, Fluffy. Good night. I'm going to have peace, peace, peace. Ah, sweet dreams. Ah. Well, Nicodemus, what you going to do now that you lost your job down at the livery stable? Well, Gospel Bill, you know, I was thinking about trying to get me a job as one of them door-to-door uh, uh, -door vacuum cleaner salesmen. Door-to-door -door vacuum cleaner? Yeah, yeah. Vacuum cleaners hadn't been invented yet. Huh. Isn't that something? Hmm. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It worked, Gospel Bill. It worked just like you said. You just mean, like you said. You mean you didn't, you didn't have any problems sleeping? Not a bit. I kept my mind on him, and I slept the whole night all the way through. That's and you, great. And you won't believe just what I ha did. What? I went down there, and I talked to Jack Gilbert at the livery stable, yes. and he says, if we come right now, huh? we can fit that job and do it to it. Okay. Hey, we got our jobs back? Right now. Hey, me and you? Yeah. Hey. Right now. Hey, come on, we got to go. Great. We'll see you later. Well, I'll see you later, see fellas. You, Bill. That's great, Barker Mance. That's great. Gospel Bill Show continues right after this. Now I want to talk about something that you may not want to talk about. I'm talking about taking a bath. You know, most kids don't like to take a bath. You know, you have to because you have to keep your body clean. And when you keep your body clean, it helps to keep your body healthy. So when your mom and dad tell you to take a bath, don't argue and fuss and fight with them. You go ahead and take your bath. But I want to talk to you about another part of you that needs a bath from time to time, and that's your mind, your brain. Because your brain can have some bad thoughts in it, some thoughts that need to be washed away. You see, it's, not, it's important not only to wash your body, but you've got to wash your mind. You see, bad thoughts can come to your mind and cause it to be filled with fear. 
because what we think about causes us to either be afraid or to be bold and not afraid. So if you want to be bold and not afraid, you have to wash out your brain. Wash it out and get rid of those old bad thoughts that are in it. Now, you know, the devil comes and he likes to put bad thoughts in our mind. He likes to tell you things that make you afraid, like there might be a monster in your room or, or someone's going to get you someday. But I want you to know something. That's just an old lie. There's no need to believe that. You need to get rid of that old thought, and one of the ways to do it is to wash your mind in God's Word. There might be another bad thought that comes your way, like your mom and dad don't love you anymore or something like that. But I want to tell you something. You need to get that thought right out of your mind. You need to wash it away. There are other thoughts that say, oh, you can't make good grades in school. You're going to do terrible. You know what? You need to wash that thought away too because all of those thoughts just make you feel afraid. And God doesn't want you to feel afraid. He wants you to wash your mind and scrub it. He wants you to get rid of all of those bad thoughts that are in your mind. You see, you have to learn to wash your mind off. And you can't take your brain out and give it a bath in your bathtub. You can't take it out and put it in the dishwasher in your kitchen. The only way that you can wash your brain off is to think on God's Word. And instead of thinking those bad thoughts, you need to replace them with good thoughts. Replace, God, or replace the bad thoughts with thoughts from God's Word. Now, I want to tell you something. When you begin to do that, you're actually giving your brain a good scrubbing. You're giving your brain a really good bath. And you know what? Your brain needs a bath every now and then because when you wash it off, it becomes brand new looking. Hey, you know that's what the Bible says? It says, be not conformed to this world, but be transformed. That means be made new by the renewing of your mind. And the way you renew your mind is you think on scriptures. You think on things that God's Word says. Well, one of the most important thoughts to think is to think about what Jesus did for you. He did something special for you when He died on the cross. And He died on the cross for our sins. And what we need to do about it is this. We need to ask Him to come and live in our hearts. And if you haven't done that already, you be sure and do it. Say, Jesus, come into my heart and forgive all of my sins. Wash them all away and make me your child. And when you do that, Jesus will. He'll come to live in your heart. He'll make you a brand new person. And you'll not only have a new brain, you get a brand new heart. Morning, Doc. Well, good morning, Nicodemus. Time for your annual physical. Why don't you have a seat right there? Okay. Well, I'm fit as a fiddle, Doc. Fit as a fiddle. Uh-huh. Well, let's just check it out. Hmm. Very interesting. Oh, what did I tell you? Uh, Doc, I run 25 miles every morning, and that's before I get up. Uh-huh. Well, just open that mouth up. Ah. Uh, <sighs> let's just go right to the heart. Okay. <laughs> a merry heart. Do you like a medicine? Well, like a medicine is a merry heart. But a broken spirit trieth the bones. But a merry heart is the joy. That's sort of like a medicine. Yeah, like a medicine, Bill, is a merry heart. <laughs> but but a, a broken spirit, well, that sort of, that's, that'll dry up your bones is what that'll do. But but a merry heart, well, woo -wee, that's, that's a joy of the Lord is what that is. <laughs> a merry heart, do it good like a medicine. Like a medicine is a merry heart, but a broken spirit dryeth the bones. But a merry heart is the joy of the Lord. Oh, 
ho, ho, Hosanna, ha, ha, hallelujah. He, 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 save me now, I've got the joy of the Lord. Ho, 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 Hosanna, ha, ha, hallelujah. He, 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 save me now, I've got the joy of the Lord. Ho, 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 Hosanna, ho, ho, hallelujah. He, 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 save me now, I've got the joy of the Lord. Hey, you know, Eugene, God doesn't want us to worry about anything. He wants us to have peace. But peace only comes when we think about the right things. Now, I want to ask you a question. What are the right things that we're supposed to think about that bring peace to our minds? Well, we think about uh, neat things like candy and uh, having lots of Cokes to drink. No, no, wait a minute, wait a minute. Those things may make you think some good and pleasant thoughts, but if you want to have real peace in your mind, you have to think about the Word of God. You think about God's promises. Now, can you think of a promise that we can think of when, uh, whenever we begin to be afraid? No, uh, God has not given me the spirit of fear. That's exactly right. God's not given us the spirit of fear. How about if uh, we hear some noises outside our bedroom window and we think that someone's going to get us or something? What kind of a promise could we think on then? No evil shall befall me. That's Psalm 91.10. That's right. No evil shall befall me. Psalm 91.10. What about if we're worried about grades at school and we don't think we're going to do very good at school? What do you think about that? Uh, uh, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. That's right. You know, there's a promise in the Bible for everything that makes you feel afraid. So instead of feeling afraid, have peace in your mind. And the best way to do it is to think on God's Word because thinking on God's Word keeps your mind at rest. <laughs> 